Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video where I'm going to talk about something that actually happened last week. We had a large number of stakeholders in to look at a new ISL charter and that charter is thinking about the best ways that the community can come together and really improve relationships right across the community. And I have three students who were there. We have Victoria, Olivia and Ilian. And they're just going to tell us a little bit about what they liked about that workshop and what they think it's going to do for us to take it forward. So I'm going to start with Victoria. So yeah, um, during the charter, I think it was an amazing experience. Um, it really gets you thinking about, not just about the community and trying to connect it, about um, really learning about everybody and learning about their cultures and everything. I think it was a really good idea. Um, also, at the very end of the meeting, we did this thing called checking out. We were supposed to do it at the start, um, checking in, but we did checking out, where everyone got into a circle and we just talked about what we were thinking about when we came into this and now how we think. I think that was really cool to hear everyone's um, comments and everything, I think. That was a really cool experience. I should just add, because some of you won't know, that we had parents, teachers and students there. And it was a big group. We had something like 38 people in the room. Mm. Olivia? Well, I think it was really a really good, really cool experience because um, you could hear children's ideas, you could hear um, parents' ideas, and there was also teachers' ideas. And then when you put them all together, it will all come up to one big and great idea. And like how Victoria said, checking in, we didn't do that, but checking out, I think that everyone could like express what they what they were feeling and yeah, it's a really cool experience. Yeah? Yeah, well, I think there was good communication between all stakeholders, the parents, the teachers and the students. And we all managed to agree on one final community charter agreement and there were so many good ideas that were brought up by everyone. We had buddy ideas, for example, having a better buddy system that I would expand through with the parents. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna come back to you on that, Ilian, because I really want you to talk about that, because it's true that we all agreed with the Charter, but then out of that, there were lots of discussions about all things that we all wanted to work on. And we should talk about some of those. So let's start, Ilian, with the buddy system and what people were saying about the buddy system. Well, so we came up with a buddy system, which was more personalized to the new student. And that would also increase, that would also go with the parents. For example, we could have parent buddies. So that means they could bring them closer to the parent friend groups, all the uh, different mother tongue groups and all that. And the students, they would be uh, having some training. And then we would have students which were more based on the personality and the schedule of the new students. So we would have, um, for example, let's say we had a new student who spoke French and maybe, I don't know, really liked football and shared the same um, interests as one of the buddies we already had. For example, they speak French, they also like football and they all share the same schedules. So that means that the buddy would, the buddy would um, be constantly with a new student and the new student won't feel abandoned. It would be a great way to spark some friendships up. Yeah, I think it, it was really good that well, everyone was really wanted to work on that buddy system and look at ways we can just make our buddy system better, get more people involved. And one thing that came out that you mentioned there was the importance of having uh, parents and students all working together. Yeah. And um, that was one thing. Who wants to talk about one of the, any uh, of the others? Yeah, so one thing that we were oh, yeah. thinking about is counselling. Counselling, we all said it's a big word. And when... If you say counselling, many of you ask the first like thing they think of when they when somebody says counselling. Probably half the people are gonna say somebody that has something wrong which needs to fix it. And then we wanted to make sure that nobody thought that what that's what it means at this school. I thought that was a great conversation because a number of you had a conversation about trying to destigmatize counselling and see it as something that people would want to do rather than something you just go to if you have a problem. And, and I don't think it's the time now to go into all those ideas. There are lots of ideas about ways in which that could be destigmatized. Um, Victoria, is there anything else that you want to add to ideas or um, things that 
Yeah, me and Olivia <coughs> and a couple other students were also talking about adding more um, items to it or having like a fundraiser, I guess, to kind of. Um, we had about a joke styling up yeah. with counseling. Oh, right, yeah, to style up Yeah, 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 that was a great idea. Yeah. We had yeah. a joke about Ways styling. to make the counseling. Yeah, and you were talking about having students coming up with ways to make that room, yeah, like, that yeah, really like, nice counseling spaces that people want to get. Yeah, me and Olivia were coming yeah. up with lots of ideas. Yeah, like funny chairs, you know, because there is one Different of Different textures. Rooms. Yeah, and also like a... Uh, Dress toys, you can say. Yeah, fidget toys. Fidget toys, where you. Oh can yeah, make. fidget toys. I remember the bit about fidget yeah, toys. Yeah, yeah. We, I actually, I have some of my own because they're really sensory, I guess you call them. And during the meeting, I asked Olivia if he wanted one. He had one. He had a little strawberry. He loved it. <laughs> he loved I it. Loved it. I wouldn't stop. He I wouldn't, wouldn't stop playing. But he wanted home. to take it home. So I thought that was really funny. And um. It might not be a big deal just having like sensory toys, but to some students like me and Olivier and <coughs> lots of other students, it means way more than just a little toy. It's more helping them learn, helping them just de-stress about it. So I think um, adding stuff like that and different textures, like those little circle mats that you can put on chairs oh, and yeah. all that like LED lights, um, stuffed animals, stuff like that, that, that would make it way more... Um, kind of homely. Yeah, yeah. Comfortable, comfortable. And also, and homely. yeah, some people like reading. So maybe like some bookshelves and mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. Just having maybe like a survey or something, asking people what would you feel comfortable having in a council room, yeah. and then we collect that data. Like a group of us collect all that data and have like a fundraiser. We save up money for to like add it up and have more people know about the counseling room because there's still some students who don't really know where the counseling room is because Miss Timia did go around telling most of the students about it but there were still new students or students who missed it or forgot about it who still don't know where the counseling room is or you know yeah that's actually um because we did have a new student come today yeah and me and other people Actually, me and my friends, we actually showed at break, we actually showed him around and told him where the counselling room is. Nice. So if he is feeling like something is going wrong or if he just wants to let out some anger or something, he can just go there because he knows where it is. And if if the idea does come up and about all the fidget toys, they could fidget now. Yeah, and one of the huge pillars of the school is students being open with uh, students parents and even teachers at the school. So this would really help with being open with everyone and that's one of the good parts of the school and it's really what I think we at ISL want to work on. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Now something you said as well that I want to come back to a bit more is parents. Because there are also ideas about parents. Do you want to say a little bit about that? Yeah, so we had a idea of, we you all know that uh, we have PTA-led workshops. But we were thinking, what if instead of having these workshops led by other parents. We could have these workshops led by students themselves, and we could have night workshops on almost everything. Parents could understand the school system and how stuff works. For example, we talked about how different students arriving from different cultures would really feel a shock. For example, in France, um, many students find it that a good school should give a lot of homework. Meanwhile, here we're more relaxed on homework, and so showing parents and students, how stuff works, and having it student led would be great, and we could show manage back school yeah, bodies, yeah. that sort of system. I think homework's actually quite. I mean, we, we talked a little about the homework, it's not the time now, but homework culture is quite interesting because if you come from lots of Scandinavian countries, having homework is seen as a bad thing, whereas if you come from certain, as you say, it's, it's an example like France, and homework is seen as a really good thing, and agreeing between different cultures and what's worth of homework is, is really interesting. Yeah. Um, sorry, Victoria, you wanted to add one? Yeah, I think it's really um, important no. that students um, get to have a say in like homework or stuff like that. Because of course, it'd be not just students being like, no homework, and then the teacher's like, okay, no homework. I think it's really important that um, we have a balance, not just in France having homework is good and not just in some Scandinavian countries having being bad, have it be an opportunity. 
have it be an opportunity to learn about different things. So like a lot of teachers will set out homework for the following test. So if you do this homework, it will help you for the few, for the test that's coming up this weekend or this um, Monday, for instance. You know what? It's um, I, I think it's. I mean, I, I don't want to go into a big homework discussion now, but that's some really good ideas. And also, one thing that came up is the importance of personalising homework. Like homework, something that takes one person one amount of time doesn't take someone else the same amount yeah, of time, that's... and you really have to think about that. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to go into a big homework we'll, discussion. We'll go into a general conversation with this, but yeah. Yes. Um, I just want to thank uh, Victoria and Olivier and Ilian for coming today. You're all going to see the ISL Charter because we're, we're putting it together and we're going to share it with the community. And then later in the year, we're going to be having a, a community parliament where everybody will have a chance to discuss it. So we're really looking forward to that. And, and I look forward to speaking to you all next week. Thank you. Thank you.